Hello friends, in this short session, we'll be talking about a very important topic from the point of view of your exams, that is perforation peritonitis. So look at this x-ray. What is this x-ray showing? This is an x-ray chest PA view taking an erect posture showing free air under diaphragm. So this free air under diaphragm is considered the most important finding in cases of perforation peritonitis. Now let us talk about the investigations that are available for perforation peritonitis. First, we have the radiographs. Amongst the radiographs, X-ray chest PA view in erect posture is considered the most sensitive radiograph for diagnosis of pneumoperitoneum. But for those patients who cannot stand erect and we have to take an radiograph in a supine posture, these patients, X-ray abdomen taken in a left lateral decubitus view will show the air rising over the surface of the liver. So this radiograph is considered as the second most sensitive radiograph for the diagnosis of pneumoperitoneum. Not talking about the overall investigation of choice. So whenever there's going to be air in question, then the investigation of choice has to be a CT. Similarly, in cases of perforation peritonitis, the investigation of choice is a CT. where you are going to find air or pneumoperitoneum in this form. Now, let us talk about some of the important signs of pneumoperitoneum on supine abdominal radiograph. Whenever there is going to be pneumoperitoneum, air is going to dissect inside the peritoneal cavity and it is going to outline all the important organs in the peritoneal cavity which will outshine and will look very bright. So if it outlines the surface of the liver, it will produce a liverate sign as you can see here. If it outlines under surface of the diaphragm, it will produce a cupola like appearance or cupola sign as you can see here. And if the air goes on and dissects inside the entire peritoneal cavity in a circular manner, it will form a football sign just like this. Now, if the air goes on and outlines the bobble wall, it will result in formation of this regular double bobble wall sign as you can see here. Similarly, there are signs called as doge's cap sign where air is seen in trap between the hepatorenal pouch. And there are some other unimportant signs like inverted V sign telltale sign and falciform ligament sign. Now, before we end this discussion, a few words about management of perforation peritonitis. If you have diagnosed perforation peritonitis on an X-ray chest PA erect view only, then there is no need for CT, no need to waste the time of the patient. Rather, the immediate management is resuscitation by IV fluids and the patient can be taken up directly for surgery. Last but not the least, what is an important investigation which is contraindicated in patients with perforation peritonitis? That is all barium based investigations because barium would leak inside the peritoneal cavity and would cause chemical peritonitis. So this is all about perforation peritonitis and its radiological findings.